kids, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm yours, Daniel Lorenzo. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You will not be seated. Today is Thursday, March 11, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what happened today in history. Thank you, Yosgani. Today in history on March 11, 1867, in Hawaii, the volcano Great Lua erupted. Mount Alua is among the five volcanoes that formed the island of Hawaii in the U.S. and is historically considered the largest volcano on Earth. Apparently, this volcano has been erupted for at least 700,000 years, provoking the largest natural destruction to Hawaii in history. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Andy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Our girl power highlight today is about young Sabrina Yu, age 6, who received her black belt in Taekwondo last October. She is the youngest student to have tested for her black belt. Taekwondo is a Korean martial art characterized by punching and kicking techniques with emphasis on head height kicks, jumping spinning kicks, and fast kicking techniques. Sabrina has been training in the discipline since she was only three and a half years old. She tested for her black belt with 36 other candidates whose ages range from 6 to 64. Sabrina joins her 11-year-old sister and her mother as black belts. They received their belts earlier in 2020. Now let's go to Onalicia for this lunch report. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is egg and cheese bagel, potato wedges, apple, cranberry juice, ketchup, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Yosdani. Thank you, Onalicia. Scholars, March Madness is almost over. We are down to our final four in our epic I Ready Showdown. Keep up the amazing work and cheer on Ms. Arazo, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Brahante, and Ms. Balandrano. Patriots, keep track of your class status by viewing the tournament leaderboard on the wall outside of the cafeteria. Single elimination rounds will determine the champion class. The incentive will be pizza and ice cream for the winning class. Patriots, St. Patrick's Day grams are here. You can show someone you care by sending them a St. Patrick's Day gram. Get one of these awesome gift packages, only three and five dollars. Fill out the gram and put a smile on someone's face. Grams will be delivered to your friends on Wednesday, March 17th. And the last day to buy them is Tuesday, March 16th. Get your friend a bracelet and they'll never get pinched on St. Patty's Day again. Now, let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Yos Donnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 77 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloud. The beautiful Florida sun is still hiding from us today. Now let's go to Simba for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dink. And here's today's joke of the day. What does Snow White say when her photos did not show up? She said... Someday my prince will come. Now let's go to Sonia for today's birthdays. <laughs> Thanks, Samuel. That was super funny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Mia Rose Bardo, Nicholas Donner, Rahira Lyons, and Romeo Arouse. Happy birthday! Now let's get back to yours, Danny. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your pet's expectations. Represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others. Treat the school's event respectfully and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Kane, Ms. Mraz, Ms. Stone, Ms. Sarah Mdenkwa, Ms. Silvera, and Ms. Santi Esteban. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, Bobby likes Jimmy, but not Joe. Apples, but not pears. Jeeps, but not vans. Tennis, but not hockey. Volleyball, but not squash. Who will he like, Sarah or Sally? The correct answer to the riddle was Sally because he likes words with double letters. Now for today's riddle. You draw a line without touching it. How do you make the line longer? Again, you draw a line without touching it. How do you make the line longer? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. 
in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, remember, unite, rise. Have a great day!